What is up, YouTube people? It's your boy, Patty McNinja. And a couple of weeks ago, we got the first teaser trailer for the new animated Mario Bros. film. And I did a full breakdown of that teaser when the trailer dropped. Well, fast forward to a couple of days ago, and we got the first official trailer for that film. And I wasn't planning on doing a video on it. However, while I was streaming God of War Ragnarok the other night, it came up. And I kind of shared my thoughts. I kind of reviewed the trailer while I was streaming God of War Ragnarok. And I figured, what the hell? I might as well go ahead and cut that up and put it as a video here. So without further ado, let's rock. So I did watch the trailer for the, I guess it's the first official trailer for the Super Mario animated movie. I did do a like teaser trailer reaction for, well, the teaser trailer. And I am, after watching the teaser trailer and the official trailer, I am super excited for this movie. I know that Chris Pratt uh, the Chris Pratt casting is not awesome. I was definitely disappointed with that, and I talked about that uh, when I discussed the teaser trailer. But everything else has been so awesome. I've really enjoyed everything else that we've seen from this. Jack Black was awesome in the teaser trailer, and we got to see more of that in the actual trailer. And his interaction with Charlie Day Luigi, which was one thing that we didn't really get to see in the teaser trailer. We didn't really get to hear Charlie Day as Luigi in the teaser. And their interaction looks or was so funny. It looks great because the animation is great, but you kind of expect that out of a, a movie made by a studio that did the Despicable Me movies. But like, what's really blown me away is how how funny it is. Like we got a little bit of comedy in the first teaser trailer, but we got a ton of that in, in this movie or in this trailer, excuse me, for this movie. And what I thought was awesome was the, the clear, the clear like nods to the video games and the franchise as a whole. Like we got a uh, Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros reference with uh mario v donkey kong which is another thing that we didn't get to really see in the teaser trailer that we got to see in this first official trailer is that we got to actually see donkey kong which is great we didn't get to see or we didn't get to hear seth rogan as donkey kong but we at least got to see donkey kong and that scene that super smash bros-esque scene in the trailer reminded me a lot of like the thor ragnarok where they interact thor v hulk kind of fight and he's a friend from work that that scene it reminded me, at least the scene, the small scene that we saw in the trailer, reminded me of that scene in Thor Ragnarok, which I thought was awesome. And again, I wish we did, we got to hear Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, because that's the one thing with animated movies that I always say is, especially when they're voiced by a lot of famous people, is I don't want to be able to hear the famous person talk. Like, I want to be immersed in the movie. And if I hear the famous person in the, the actual character, and I'm just like, I'm hearing Seth Rogen and I'm not hearing Donkey Kong, that's gonna break my immersion. So that would be very disappointing. And he has a very distinct voice. So I'm curious to see when we eventually do hear him, if I'm gonna just hear Seth Rogen. That's my biggest complaint. But other than that, I'm really, really excited. And then, of course, the cherry on top was the fact that we got a Mario Kart scene. Not only was it a Mario Kart scene, but it was a Mario Kart scene at Rainbow Road, which I just thought was like, ah, chef's kiss. It was so good. And so I really am excited. Yes, the Chris Pratt stuff is disappointing, but it's not... I don't think it's gonna overshadow the movie. That's the thing. And there is, I've, I've, I'm a huge film nerd. 
And there are podcasts out there where filmmakers have talked about how there's kind of like this spectrum with filmmaking where it's like you get these small indie films that are kind of just made for the filmmakers and the artists involved. And the, the people that finance those movies don't really expect to make a whole lot of money off of them. And then, of course, you have the movies that are the big blockbusters. And obviously, this movie could be put in that category for sure. Because it's... Because Mario is one of the biggest IPs in the world. And Nintendo is one of the biggest companies in the world. And so you definitely put this in more of like the blockbuster big studio category on that side of the spectrum but it seems like it's one of those big blockbusters that at least judging by the the stuff that we've seen in the trailer so far it seems like it's one of those blockbusters that is done with a lot of love and done with a lot of fan service which i am all for and so yeah it's a big blockbuster but it seems like it's made for the fans Protect yourself. and it's just everything about it just seems awesome what's up youtube people it's your boy patty mcninja and this is my boy yoshi aka kitty boy and we were just talking and we agree that since you made it this far in the video you might as well subscribe you wouldn't want to disappoint kitty boy would you